Hey, what is up guys? Uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I have a part one Louis Vuitton Virgil Abloh Spring Summer 2019 unboxing. Uh, the reason why it is a part one is because not all of my products are in yet. I still have a few more days or maybe a week or so until the rest comes in. They're slowly trickling in but I haven't had time to pick them up yet. So I have four items for the part one. Whew, I am so overwhelmed by this release. Like you don't even know. Like I didn't expect that I would actually get what I got. Um, but let's begin. So spring, summer 2019 was for me for the Virgil show. I thought it was amazing. And then the fall, winter 2019 came out and I was like even more amazed. So I'm actually later on going to go to the Louis Vuitton store to find out more information for the fall, winter 2019 while picking up the rest. Um, Hopefully this video comes out very close to when the others come out so I can have part two kind of trickle right after. Um, but let's get started. So I have four items here. Let's start with the smallest one. So box here. Just take that out. So you can already tell by the little bag that it is an accessory with the little drawstring bag. And here is the Friendship Woven Bracelet. So I got it in the white and the um, gray woven. I don't know if you're able to see that on camera. But the one thing that I like about it is if you take a look at this little LV charm, it has like that yellow brick road pattern. It is so adorable. There is even a little um, charm here as well. It said it has the LV and then in the back it says Louis Vuitton. And then it has the two little heavy little metals at the end. So it, it is a tie bracelet. So that is kind of concerning to me. So you kind of have to be careful of whenever you are walking around just to make sure that you still have it on you. But I'm going to wear it today and see how it works out. So basically, let me see if I can tie this on my own. Let's just double tie it. I'm hoping that the little weighted metals at the end will help it um, stay tied, and I think that maybe might be its purpose. Did you guys notice too? I have like orangey pinkish nails to go with the Virgil release. Mm. I'm probably gonna wear one today. I'm not too sure. But look how cute that is with the yellow brick road. I think just so adorable. So let's see how that works out. So that was the first one. Uh, the second one here is obviously another accessory. This was high priority on top of my want list. Let me explain that to you. So here we go. Little dust bag. And I got the pochette. I believe it's the pochette clay. Um, the reason why this was high priority on my list is because... Um, I know that my husband wanted it. He collects these things. So if you ever see me wearing them 80% of the time, it's not mine. It's my husband's, but we're married. So what's his is mine, right? Um, but anyways, so I love it because it comes, a lot of people don't like the orange chain. However, I do. And um, I just think it's such funny timing because prior to the um, spring sh summer men's show that came out There's this brand that my husband loves in Japan called Porter um, When we were there they came out with these carabiners in literally like an orange a white Black matte black and a gunmetal. So I thought it was funny. So when we seen it, we actually Loved it because it matched some of the Porter stuff that we got but here is the orange links and if you can see it I'm not too sure if it will show up on camera, but each individual link has an LV on it. Even when it comes to this D-ring um, slash carabiner style, it has an LV on it as well. So I was twisting it um, in the store thinking, oh, okay, it's really secure because it's locked, but it's just a push down. So it, it looks deceiving that it looks like it is going to be, you know, turn lock because that's how the porter one is but it's just an open and closed feature 
and then it has the matte black hardware um, which I really like in the classic monogram and the inside here is just the textile card and the uh, um, and the um, style number but this piece I absolutely love I think this is a good addition to um, my collection totally love it not a lot of people like the orange chain but I totally love it neon is totally my thing okay and then we have this here and you can probably tell by the shape of what it is It is the logo belt um, with the orange buckle if you can see it here you can tell that the buckle is a little bit wavy so it's not like that straight um, clean style like they usually have so it's wavy in that orange again and then it has again the canvas so this buckle you are able to take out and put it on the opposite way so you can do the clean black side or you can um, do it with this as well and because it's removable if you have other belts that has the removable function as well you can probably use it I think my husband has the Eclipse monogram so we could probably pull that one off and put it on here and other ones that work we can do that as well so that would be pretty awesome so this is more of my husband's but of course um, I have a tendency of taking his stuff so I'll probably use this as well um, all right and the last one here is probably one I'm probably gonna wear it right after I film it so here we go dust bag here and here you go dust bag and I got the pouchette uh pochette sorry pochette I will put the name down below everything that you're seeing here is going to be linked down below as well if you wanted to check out more information but I got this pochette and it's so funny that I actually got this because I have so many of these that I very rarely wear so it's just funny that I keep buying these because I, I love the look but I eat I instantly switch out of them because I just I'm so over holding stuff you know because you have to hold it every single day uh, not every single day every single time that you wear it you have to hold it and it's just cumbersome for the most part especially if you're you know out you need your hands and everything so I, it just ends up in like a shopping bag or, or something but the reason why I went with this was because it is very different from all the pochettes that I do have so and what I mean different is first of all it has this beautiful orange chain link here that I really love that's connected to the black hardware with the LV on it you can see it there and then again the chain links I think they also have little LV stamped on here um actually no they don't only the bigger links have the lv stamp these small ones do not have it or i can't tell um another thing is that it has the front pocket which is great for easy access i mean the whole part is easy access honestly but um this is something that i don't have in any of my other pochettes and then the top portion the top portion has a lot of space as well so I mean this a lot of this is probably the biggest one that I have next to and probably another um, Louis Vuitton one but it, it's not as squishy the other one that I have is more stiff and thin where this one is much more padded so I feel like you're able to kind of shape it like so like how you would want to if you're holding it so you see how like I can make it a little bit more you know like it, it's wearing and tearing nicely and I can change the shape the other one is just really it, it's just really straight and it's it, it doesn't really have a lot of cushioning so it's just straight here this is the other Louis Vuitton one that I have so they're pretty even in size so this is the porter that I was talking to you guys about which I will probably explain to you in another video that I have if you see I have like a few things here I did another unboxing video but I didn't have the time to edit it yet but there's more to that on that but as far as size goes well I guess 
this uh, this one here in the Damier bean with the Chris uh, Christopher Nemeth um, pr rope print is just a little bit more wider as far as height wise the Virgil version is a little bit taller but not by much but if you look at this one here like it's literally just straight it's like a straight portfolio it doesn't really have much cushioning and there you can't really like squish it or you know like make it look comfortable i don't know if that's the right word to use but it yeah it's just it's just straight and that's just kind of it and i think that's why i use it to just put my laptop in it just because it is it, it fits my 13 inch laptop in here um and it fits a bunch of things it's just stiff and 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 that's it but i still do love this piece i'm glad that i had um i was able to um add this on but here too if you look it has more of like a portfolio style on this side it, it doesn't open that way where like this it's you can just tell like you can put so much more things in it's much more the term what i hear online much more squishy and you know you're able to kind of play with it so i do like that and i mean i probably because it can do that i can fit a little bit more items in it as well but how cute totally love this i might wear it today as i go and pick up the rest of my stuff or it's actually not the rest it's just um i it's just one more item that's there and then i'm just waiting just for one more and then i'll be able to film my part two um but yeah that is my part one louis vuitton virgil um spring summer 2019 unboxing i was so excited to film this because i wanted to wear this straight away so i'm glad that i had gotten that out of the way um but then now i'm just waiting for the second wave to come in i do have another um unboxing video that's probably going to come shortly after this i wanted to talk to you guys about a vlog sale style video i have a few things that i would like to put in for sale one of my new year's resolutions was that if I was to add any clothes, bags, or shoes into my collection, I need to get rid of one. So I'm actually very behind to focus on my first vlog sale and do it on here on YouTube. Um, I've seen a couple and they look pretty successful. I'm going to try it out. I'm still working on some of the items to post on there. I think I've only had done information for five so far. So I wanted to at least do a solid 10 items um, on my very first vlog sale. So look out for that. Um... Of course, uh, getting first access to it is probably going to be the, the easiest way. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. And I know people talk about the bell to make sure that you guys get notifications on when I do post it. So, I mean, if you're interested in some of the things, if you, um, I mean, I don't know if you might, honestly, you might not even have seen it on my Instagram if you do follow me on Instagram, just because I, I haven't worn a lot of the products um, that I'm selling in it and that's why i'm selling it is going to be at least 10 items on there hopefully i can get 10 items i really need to clean out some things that you know honestly there's things in my um collection that i feel like deserves more attention and it's really not getting it for me so um that's going to be something that is a part of the sale um but yeah, if you guys are interested, again, please subscribe. That way that you will be one of the first pe few people to actually check it out. I don't know how successful it's going to be. Thank you so much, guys. Like, subscribe, and have a great rest of January. I can't believe it's almost February, guys. And then I will probably be doing a vlog really soon just because I will be um, doing stuff. Hopefully, I'm not too sure how um good it's gonna be but we'll see that's one thing i'm trying to work on my vlogging skills but thank you again so much guys have a great weekend day week everything life everything <laughs> bye hey guys so i am back after five hours i wanted to do a little wear and tear on the bracelet so i had put this on earlier in the video and then the the um pouch bag that i used today as well and um so let's start a little bit about the bracelet so i read this the mistake you see the shirt that i'm wearing it's more like a netted shirt so the lv charm gets caught in it 
so much throughout the day so I would recommend if you are wearing this bracelet do not wear a shirt with like netting or something that you wouldn't want to get it snagged on because it was kind of a pain literally I tried stuff on today and it was so rough like and I didn't want to take it off because I wanted to see how it would fare with you know everyday um, wearing so the way that you put it on is um, through tying it here so I don't know if this is gonna even clear out um, and actually I never had to mess with it all day long I honestly was so comfortable with it I didn't think about it I think because of it, it's quite weighted so you can kind of feel it on but I had no issues whatsoever so it's just a regular double tie um not I guess but it stayed on quite nicely I had no issues whatsoever the only issue that I did have though is just with this little charm here but otherwise that this bracelet is very comfortable it's wearing very well and I think it looks cute with what I already have on so <sighs> let's talk a little bit about this bag so I know five hours really isn't such a big deal but you know what the ceramic chain looks really good still and I fussed with it because I had shopping bags with me so I did fuss around with it quite a bit um it, it did get a little bit cumbersome again I think I mentioned it earlier when I unboxed it that this would be quite annoying when it comes to wanting to be hands-free um, so this wasn't actually that bad there is no chips or anything whatsoever on the ceramic and the paint so I'm pretty impressed with that so I so a couple people wanted to like touch it play with it so I let them and they're like wow you have a lot and you know I just threw everything that was in the bag that I was wearing into this bag so I'm gonna just show you quickly what I have in here and it's quite a lot of stuff so the front pocket here I just have my um, phone so this is the um, excess max um, I have that in the front pocket here and it still looks like it, it's not so stuffed. So that's what I like too. So in here, I have a few things. So I have my trusty hand sanitizer here. And then I have my car keys with the, um, the key pouch. have that. I also have some medicine just in case. So this is just like the little travel bottle so that fit well in there as well and then I have my um, Christian Dior oblique saddle card holder um, which fits quite a bunch so that fits in there as well and then I have my little pouch here as well that has you know a bunch of things in it so mostly lip products but um, yeah this pouch fits quite a lot I had all of that in here so I'm pretty impressed with it on oh, I guess some lip glosses and stuff more of them so this actually fits quite a bit again I probably again I probably wouldn't wear it if you know you're going to want to be hands-free so I guess if you're shopping with friends and stuff like that uh, this probably wouldn't be the best choice however I did enjoy it I didn't have to worry about it whatsoever, um, whatsoever about it scratching or anything like that I mean Louis Vuitton's canvas is pretty solid so I really didn't have to worry about it um, I mean it looks good there's no really any wear in the corners or anything for the first five hours and I'm very accident prone so I'm very klutzy so I'm surprised that you know it's still in really good shape but otherwise that yeah I mean Five hours worked out really well for these two items here I did not use any of the other ones quite yet but when I do I will definitely post it thank you so much for coming back again guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing for the um, Louis Vuitton Virgil Abloh spring summer 2019 um, again look out for part two bye